Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be looking at the 20 year old, 27 in 1 Game Boy Color bootleg I actually own. So the, the weird thing about this actual game cartridge is that there's 27 actual game ROMs in one cartridge. These kind of cartridges didn't actually get popular until the GBA and the Nintendo DS era, but this is a Game Boy Color cartridge. So this is really strange because a lot of reproduction cartridges for the Game Boy Color such as Pokemon Yellow or whatever, you, actually has just game wrote there at the top. This one actually says Nintendo Game Boy, which means that this is actually either a Pokemon Yellow or a, I think it's Donkey Kong Country 2 cartridge repurposed, which is interesting to say the least. Another thing that's really interesting about this is the actual artwork on the actual cartridge. It's very blurry. <laughs> so I'm actually going to tell a story really quickly of how I actually managed to get this cartridge. This actually, I actually bought this 20 years ago, well, 19 years ago, 20 years ago, I'm a bit all messed up with the dates and stuff, but uh, pretty much I was in town with my family, I was like seven or something, six or seven, and I saw this guy selling it on a, a market stall. And it sounds really dodgy now I look back at it, but I paid 50 quid for this cartridge and I was buzzing, like 27 games in one, it was great. So I got home, plugged it into my Game Boy, boom bam, and started playing. To begin with, the actual cartridge worked fine, no problems. But after around two or three months, the battery ran dry, meaning I couldn't actually save the game, which sucked. Especially if you're playing a game like Pokemon where it's a long process where you have to keep saving. It really did make me feel a bit rubbish that I spent this much money on something when it doesn't save. A lot of the actual ROMs on this cartridge is actually the legit game, it all works fine. But it's just annoying that I can't save on certain games such as Pokemon. All the games runs fine from what I remember. I haven't tried out in over, I think it was like 10 years ago, the last time I tried this. So this is going to be exciting. I'm actually going to be playing this on my Game Boy SP, which I recently picked up for a pound. Yeah, I picked up a Game Boy SP up for a pound. Uh, it was weird because it was all damaged. The actual bottom of it was damaged, but now I uh, I kind of fix it a little bit. So I actually own two Game Boy Advanced SPs, which are right here. In this video, I'm going to be using this one, mainly just because it's a better quality. It's not as damaged as my original. So yeah, I'm going to be trying this one out, and uh, let's dive into it. So let's get this loaded up. Oh, I miss that sound, I really do. So here we go, here's our list of all our games. Pokemon Gold, Silver, Yellow, Red, Adam's Family 2. Okay, Daffy Duck. As you can see, like a lot of the logos of the bomb are actually in Japanese. I actually didn't notice that going up. Oh, by the way, this actually does work in full screen as well. Like, you know how the Game Boy Advance does allow you to stretch out. So you can do that if you want. I think it was a bit ugly, to be honest. We're going to go back into that there. Okay, let's try Pokemon Gold, because I love a bit of Pokemon Gold. Okay. So it's going to look like a Nintendo Game Boy, it looks like. And let's see what we got here. Pokemon World? That doesn't seem right. But the intro is starting like Pokemon Gold. Pikachu presents? What? Isn't it Game Freak normally? Okay, that seems a bit interesting, doesn't it? skip. So it's Pokemon Gold, Pocket Monsters, Pikachu Inc. I think this is a Japanese game, to be honest. I do, I do. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume down a bit. Okay, let, let's get into this. I'm not going to lie, the more I look into it, I think it's actually a fan-made remake. Or it's some kind of thing, like, the text doesn't seem right here, Pokemon, it just doesn't seem right. And I don't know if it's just me who thinks that, but, it's just like how he's speaking in bold capital letters. It doesn't normally happen like that. See, even the word Pokemon's a bit dodgy. I don't know, I don't know, it just seems a bit odd to me. So far it seems fine, but it's just the intro seems a bit dodgy. Like the whole, um, text. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh, oh. UT Shugui is looking for you. Who the hell is that? Uh, okay, I feel like the game is actually Pokemon Gold, but I think it's a fan translation. So it looks like it is actually Pokemon Go uh, Gold, but it's done a bit differently. So that's, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? I don't know what's happening there, but that's fine. That's fine. So I want to see if the Pokemon names are actually different. Okay, let's have a look here now then. Okay, we've got Cyndaquil. Buy a Pokemon Hidona. <laughs> okay, this is definitely some kind of translation. It has to be. And it's Totodile. That's what it says about Totodile. Okay. Water Pokemon Wanin. Is that okay? Take, take your time. Pick carefully. Okay, and what's the last one? Let's see what Chikorita is named. I love if this is actually correct. Quest Pokemon Chico. Okay, nice to know. So this is definitely a fan translation at least. I actually never realised it when I was going up because I didn't really read the text, but uh, now I'm going to actually switch over to Pokemon Red. Because, like, that is an older game. 
So I really want, I'm really curious. So let's actually turn it back on and off. Game Boy there. I honestly miss that so much in these generations of games. Okay, Pokemon Red. Let's try it out. So Pokemon Red is a well-known game, isn't it? It really is. So it's actually published by Game Freak, so this is actually the legit version. It's not something dodgy. I'm wondering if this I got this cartridge before the actual EU version of um of Pokemon Gold and Silver came out. I'm thinking that's the case. Okay, let's have a look here. Pokemon Edition Roger. Okay, this is definitely a uh, is that Spanish maybe? I think it is. Can we change it? So that's fast animations and back. So it looks like we've got a Spanish version of Pokemon Red here. Oh, hola! Yeah, yeah, great, great, great. That's very interesting. Like, the fact that this game actually is not English <laughs> is uh, interesting. Like, don't get me wrong, you can easily beat Pokemon without reading the text, but that's still very interesting how, like, how they managed to publish a game in non-English. Like, I love how Ash is still there. There's Ash, Rojo, and Jamie. Uh, okay, we'll name it Jamie. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So I'm actually not going to spend time looking at this ROM because I already know it's going to be in Spanish throughout. So I'm going to try two or three more ROMs just to see how they look because I'm interested in it. I know what, what Hugo is. Um, Tarzan. I like a bit of Tarzan. I wonder if it's Disney's Tarzan. I'm really interested, like, how did they actually do this? Licensed by Nintendo. Okay, Game Tech presents. Okay, great, great. I'm not going to like the music here. Oh my god, what the hell is with Tarzan? 994. So this is obviously a Game Boy original game. It's going to be black and white, isn't it? Oh, it's not actually colour. Okay, we can jump, we can fire stuff. It looks English. It looks English. Okay. I'm not going to lie, playing this through a viewfinder on a camera is not ideal. Okay, so we also have got a certain amount of ammo. Yeah, no. Do, do we not? Okay, we don't. I don't know what we're meant to do here, but... To be honest, this game seems to be running pretty fine. It's not really that much of a known game, though. Like, I've never heard of Tarzan for the Game Boy Color. Like, I've never heard of it. So, yeah, um, that's, that's interesting, isn't it? Really, what, what, what do you actually drop here? I'm guessing that's HP. So, I don't, I don't know how this game works. I'm guessing it's stage-based, but... Either way, uh, it's pretty interesting. One thing to be aware of with this actual cartridge, though... Um, I'll reboot it to show you guys this. Is that a lot of, like, cartridges like this... There is only a certain amount of games, but in this, there actually is 27 games in one. As so you see, there's Crystal Crescent Quest, there's NFL Football, Dragon Slayer. Oh, I'm really curious about Dragon Slayer. There is actually 27 games, there's not like 10 and they're just redone, there's 27 actual games here. Okay, now we're talking. Dragon Slayer, Phase 1. As you can see, a lot of the games actually on the cartridge isn't too bad. It's a bit too easy. Okay, I don't know how I'm meant to attack here, but... Okay, it seems like some kind of chips challenge, maybe? Uh, can we actually loot these? Uh, magic menu? I'm not gonna lie, this seems actually like a pretty decent game, to be honest. Okay, I, I, it's a bit awkward sometimes moving. But yeah, it seems to be actually in English, it looks like. Where's Monsters down there? Oh, we actually got money. I'm not gonna lie, this seems like a pretty cool RPG. Nice, no, I'm not gonna spend too much time playing it, but I might actually do it on the stream one day. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Another thing I'm not a fan of the, when it comes to the actual original Game Boy is to switch games after you actually turn it off. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a limit in that regard. Okay, what we've got here? Battle City. Shout out to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's get into this. Okay, Battle City Nova. And it's by Namco, so, so it's obviously a remake of the game here. I can see a lot of the games actually on this cartridge are very, very simple games. Oh, it's actually tanks. Oh, okay. I remember actually playing this as a kid. I love this game as a kid. Boom, there we go, get wrecked. Let's get this guy spawn. Oh, got him in shot. Oh, balls. I'm not gonna lie, this game is pretty fun though. Like, for a game that came out so long ago, it's, it is pretty fun. It really is. Like, I've actually missed playing this. As you can see, like, there, there is a lot of basic games. This did come out when the actual, um, when the Game Boy Color was actually in its heyday. So as you can imagine, the actual hardware on the Game Boy Color wasn't that difficult to emulate. So that's probably why there's so many ROMs about this. So yeah, I'm actually really interested in actually opening up this card, card though, because I'm wondering how it actually works. Is there an SD card built in? Because I know SD cards have only emerged in the last 10, 15 years. So I'm really interested, since this is 20 years old, how it works. That'd be so cool. It really would. Okay. Oh god damn it. Oh god, I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot. Okay, I think we're going to look at one more game here. Overall, this car isn't too bad. It's really not that bad. Like, for what it is and how much I paid at the time, yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive because, like, with inflation and stuff, but it's still not bad. It's still not bad. Okay, let's, let's try that Super Mario Land. I wonder if this is the actual Game Boy Color version because I love that game I actually have on my 3DS. It actually looks like it is. Oh my god, it actually is. It's, it's Super Mario Land. Oh my god. Give me that mushroom. So this is actually before Fireflowers were actually a thing. And you can fire projectiles, but it's, it's a bit different. 
Oh my god, it's actually it's just full on Mario, isn't it? Mario World. Like, wow. And it's actually in the color variation, because if you don't know, this game did, did come out on the actual, um, this did come out on, um, the game by color, uh, the game by original, so it didn't have any color. But then when it got poured over into the actual hardware, a lot of games did actually get, get color, like Pokemon Red. And this actually does have a bit of color, and it looks, it looks pretty vibrant, to be honest. It doesn't look bad, which is always a good thing. It really is. It, it works really well. That's actually enough for me, though. It's, um, it's a fantastic thing. Yeah, great. So the cartridge actually does work pretty well, it actually runs some pretty well established games such as Pokemon, I know there's some fan translations there, but it's Spanish. But it even runs like Mario, Super Mario World and stuff, of course not some of these games you don't know, but it's still a pretty good cartridge, I really enjoy it. So yeah, a lot of the games on this actual cart is not English. That's a bit weird, don't you think? A not English game on a, an English cartridge with English text on the actual back of it. That's really weird, really, really weird. And to be honest, that could be because it's been loaded on Spanish ROMs or a different like region ROM, I don't know. But I'm wanting to take this cartridge apart. So what I want to do is I want you guys to either leave a like or a comment below saying if you want me to take this apart and actually try to repair the battery. I've actually never taken apart a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy Advance cartridge. If you guys want to see me do that, tell me below because I kind of want to do it. I want to know how the actual circuit board works in this cartridge and I might even buy like another cartridge like an actual Game Boy Color cartridge to take that apart just to show you the differences in them because I don't know if it's going to be the same board, is it going to be different we're going to have to take it apart and I want your guys' feedback on that, should I do that but yeah, that's my 20 year bootleg, 27 games in one if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, it'll be greatly appreciated and I shall see you guys in the next video where I'm pretty sure I'm going to do another one of these because I'm really enjoying doing these but we'll have to see how this video turns out. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and peace.